What's up everybody? Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning right now and Julia's water broke at 5.30. So I am trying to get the car set up. We're not, we're not in any rush, it's like pretty chill. We're really calm right now. Uh, but I'm just trying to prep the car ahead of time. Just with uh, the car seat, put that back in the car since a lot of y'all told us to take it out and put the stroller in and stuff like that for the ride home. But her water broke at 5.30, she woke me up. Um, we hung out for like 20 minutes just chatting. We took a bath for about 20 minutes and uh, she got back in bed and was going to try to like sleep a little longer just to get some rest so she is rested up and prepared for labor today. It's a big day, an exciting day. And it's funny, Jewel and I both called that she would go into labor on the 26th. Earlier this week I was like, hey babe, what day do you think you're going to go into labor? And she was like, the 26th, I was like, me too, that's what I was thinking. So, let's see if she's awake. Hi. You awake? What? You awake? Yeah, <laughs> like trying to go to sleep. You can't? <laughs> a little hard. Buddy, do you know, do you know something? Sure. How you feeling? I feel good. Nothing, no pain yet, just dripping. I was telling them that uh, we both called the 26th. I know, how weird, right? I mean, technically he might not be born today. Well, if your water breaks, it's usually within 24 hours. Right. So tomorrow. But, but it could be today or tomorrow. Yeah. And a lot of people think you, like from movies, that you rush to the hospital when your water breaks. But, but like you have so much time. You have so much time. So like her contractions and stuff haven't even started yet. Yeah. So and gonna she's going to try to like do at least half of her labor. labor and contractions here at the house. I think we've said that. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we're just like now just waiting. I'm going to do some work and try to clean up the house and stuff. Your mom gets you tomorrow, so kind of prep her room. Yeah, we usually didn't hang those towel hooks. I took the one. cardboard out of the back and put it in the stroller. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Got all that work. I know, right? Yesterday. I was going to try to take a nap, and then I thought we could make breakfast tacos. Mm-hmm. And then... You want to like walk to get coffee or something? Like, do you want to move around? Yeah, probably once I woke up. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to see if maybe you could get me a pad because apparently the water... I heard breaks. your sister saying that. Yeah, she, it leaks the whole day. Like, she's like, it'll just keep refilling. She said it refills and keeps leaking. And it does keep up. And I'm like, yeah, because like, I don't know what to do. But I don't have Where, a pad. Where's your pads? Any. I don't have any. Okay, got it. Period. So you want me to go get somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. <laughs> of course. Um, um, where would I go? Like, just CVS or something? Probably. Okay. And it's just a pad. I don't know where the clothes ones. I'll send you, like, a photo. It's just, like, a period pad almost. Um, Is that going to be, like, enough? Are you going to well, be changing it all day? We just, like, throw on, like, one of the diapers that I'll use after. Do you have them here? No, I don't have any. Oh, you don't have any diapers here? I don't have anything here. Can we buy one of those, then? Yeah, maybe we just buy those. Okay. I'm gonna run, but anyways, y'all, it is <laughs> happening, and we couldn't be more excited. I'm a little tired. She's tired. I know. Um, but it's gonna be a great day, and I'm just gonna get started on doing things so we are prepared. We're so happy that it started in the morning because we were like, we don't want like a midnight situation when then you're up all night like laboring. So we're like, we both were like, yes, it happened like first thing in the morning. So now we have a whole day. We've been talking about how we hope she goes into labor in the morning and. Here he is, baby H, already being obedient. Baby H, so sweet, thoughtful. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> 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 you never look like that. <laughs> Dang, my dad. <laughs> Oh, 
50 seconds. 3.30 spread apart. Okay. Not bad. Go ahead, take your shower. All right. Have about three minutes to give this update. I feel like I'm in like war zone. I'm like the next bomb's about to drop in three minutes. There we go. Give me the dog. Yeah. Welcome to the labor vlog. I'm currently in labor. Water broke this morning. And things took a little bit of time to start. But apparently you can be, your water could break and things could not start for like 12 to 24 hours. So here we are. Sorry, I'm not making sense. Um, okay, takeaway so far. Definitely hurts. Um, I want to say more than I thought. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, it's painful for sure. Um, but I don't know. It's definitely like a familiar sensation. Like, if you've had really bad period cramps or you ever gotten like an IUD put in or cramps from your IUD, kind of reminds me of that, but like more intense. Oh, I could track it only like. Four minutes apart right now so when you get down to three minutes that's when you're like past maybe the halfway point that's an average guide sorry i'm not making any sense um so we don't technically know where i'm at because no one's like checked my cervix or anything obviously because i'm at home but trying to wait till i get to one minute contractions that are three minutes apart before i head to the hospital that is my goal so if i'm at four minutes right now you know we might not be that far away but they're pretty sharp, I will say. Um, definitely like, take your breath away. But at least you get like a four minute break. Like the breaks are the best. Um, just let your body relax for a second. But yeah, here we are. What else? Okay. Um, hold on. My brain's not working. Okay, hold on. Pause, please. Here we go. It's coming. <sighs> oh. oh. I just messed up. I forgot to click the timer, but I was at four minutes. Anyways. Okay, we have prepared everything. Car is packed. We have the hospital bags packed. We have snacks packed. Um, we have the house is clean. Like we like cleaned today. I went into like cleaning mode. It just helped me sort of relax and like make me feel like the environment was like nice and ready to labor in. I wanted everything clean. What additional stress like walking around and stuff um so yeah I feel pretty calm though um I've only cried once and yeah I don't know I don't feel as nervous as I do but you know I definitely feel like it's gonna be intense so but I'm liking being at home right now making me feel comfortable and I feel like the hospitals where it's gonna feel kind of like not scary, but it just feels more like major when you're there. So I'm liking just like laying in my bed, having my dog and makes you feel comfortable. But anyways, so that's the update. Catch you guys in a little bit. And let's fucking do this. <laughs>
You tell me. I'm okay with anything, but I want you to know you're doing so good. I don't know. I just don't want to, like, torture mm -hmm. myself, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, if I'm going to get the epidural, then it's like, do I just, like, how much do I put myself through? Yeah. It's more about how long you want to be in the hospital for, I think, is the question you should ask. I don't know. Then it's up to you. It, I guess both of them are valid questions. Yeah. You're doing so good, baby. <laughs> emotional because you're tired? Or are you emotional because of the pain? Both. Okay. You still for a second? No, it's un keep... uncomfortable. Okay. She's doing awesome. You're doing amazing. You know you are. I feel like sick, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of expected a little bit. Yeah. Do you want to eat a little snack to get some energy? I mean... I'm gonna say you should probably get like a little bit of fuel. a lot. Throughout the day, but you haven't really eaten much since your contraction started. Mm. Think about it, your contraction started before we ate true food. And you didn't really eat much of that. We're trying to get some fresh air. There she is over. She's crushing it by the way, like she is crushing her contractions. They're about a minute long. And four apart? Two. Two and a half minutes. Apart? Yeah. But that was just two of them. Okay. I'm just call. Oh, the OB. Women's OB. Yeah. Tell them that my contractions are around three minutes apart. I had an intense water brook this morning. This is exciting, baby. Oh my god. I'm just in pain. Bye, right, buddy. We'll be back with your brother in a couple days. <laughs> We're a few minutes away from the hospital. How are you holding up? It's 12.51.
transforms the minute away. <laughs> Alright, we're walking in. Wanna stop for a second? In the waiting room at the hospital. Scale of 1 to 10, how you feeling? It's what? Complicated. How you feeling? Much better. Got the epidural now. It was a mental battle to decide, but now I'm like much better. It's news time. Yeah. Time for a nap. All right, y'all. Julia slept for about an hour. I have no idea how long we've just been through. Gosh, it's Take been... Care. Your water broke about 32 hours ago. I guess so. Or 30 hours ago. And you've been in labor, like contracting for about 18. Or like having contractions and like, you know, early labor, then active labor and you were going through active labor having contractions spaced out like every three minutes and they were like a minute long. They felt, I mean all the signs were that I was technically... At least past a five. At least, yeah, well, you know, you can never really tell. But, but based on like all of our knowledge and from like our birth guide and stuff like that, yeah. we were like, okay, based that on all this right information though. and based on your pain tolerance right now, and for how long this has been lasting in the cadence, mm -hmm. you're probably around a four to a seven. I thought at least like a three or four. Yeah, but e even there. active labor is five to ten. I know. And you were going through those things. Those symptoms. And when we got here, they said since her water broke early, her body almost like was trying to go into labor and like get to a certain dilation, but you were having contractions as if you were at those later stages, yes. but you only progressed to like a two. Yeah. So, so, um, and then we got to the hospital and we allowed her to like try to be in labor for another like what, how long have we been here? Like eight hours? Was it that long? Before the, the epidural. epidural. Yeah, something like that. We got here like at one Yeah. and you got the epidural like at eight. Well, and I was hoping I was trying to avoid that epidural because I didn't want my body to slow down. And I was like, great, I'm all, only two centimeters. This was the whole point of trying to wait for that epidural was to get my body to like go quicker. Yeah. The epidural typically slows it down. So I was like, I'll wait as long as I can. But then I just, I was getting so fatigued and like worn down. And then my body was so tense because I was just like exhausted. It was intense. Um, Anyways. What we got here, well, and Julia's here. doing great. Uh, you've got a couple hours of sleep oh. since 5:30 yesterday morning. Oh my gosh. I've got about an hour. I need to. Go to I, need, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. But you're gonna sleep for off and on for the next two hours. Yeah, and I've got oh, the peanut ball in here. Peanut ball inside. We're moving around positions, trying different positions to to progress things even further. And we have a new nurse, which is amazing. So. But basically. You got to a point where they weren't, they didn't think you were going to be like progressing any further. Right. And so they were like, hey, we really need to give you Pitocin. And we, we fought it for the past eight hours. And finally, Julie was like, all right, my body's okay. not doing this naturally. Like, let's, let's do it. Yeah, so so Julia has Pitocin. She has an epidural. And she's feeling great now that she has the epidural. Yeah, wonderful. Um, and hopefully the Pitocin helps her contractions. Yeah. Like, Get push that. forward and, and start to dilate a little bit more. So we'll keep ya posted. Hopefully we'll have a baby soon. By the way, they gave us a nice big room. That's the entry door. Got the bathroom in there. Kind of scored with the room. Yeah. You got that big space over there. And then you also have this extra room in here. The fridge. Sink. And this is where our doula slept for like a little bit of time. And I'm gonna go take a nap here right now. So I'm tired. And how gorgeous is this woman here? She's been so good. You've done so freaking well. I have, I can't stop telling you how proud I am. Like, for real. It's really nice. Huh? You've been a rock star, and I know this hasn't gone the way you desired it to, or the way you saw it and imagined it going. I expected. But guess what the real way is that we imagined it? 
is having a healthy kid on like in the end. For that's sure. the outcome we're looking for. Yeah, for sure. So however we get there, that's part of the process. Baby's milk. A couple hours later. Hitting the emotional phase. <laughs> She's doing so good. She goes in between laughing and crying. I think the, the thing we were talking about is just how like this has been such a roller coaster, and I think the birth plan we had had a lot of like curveballs thrown our way. Yeah. And a lot of pivots had to be made, and when you're so freaking tired and in pain, it's a uh, it's a lot to take on. But you've done so good. I'm telling you. The doctors are telling you that. Yeah. Dulo's telling you that. You're doing so well. Like holding a lot in, like, you're trying to make decisions. And I know, like, and you have a little bit of fear. Yeah. It's a lot at once. It's a lot. But you're doing it's so, totally you've done so well, and now you're letting it out, and that's good. Yeah. Okay? Have you gotten some good sleep? Hmm? Do you I, feel like, do you feel rested? Well, it's like, I feel better than I did earlier, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But, it's kind of hard to like get into a deep sleep because every time I like kind of doze off and then I like come back. Sam. You haven't slept at all. I've slept like 20 minutes here and there. Maybe I got in like 40 minutes total. Do you think we're just running on adrenaline? I got a nice little bed set up over here. <laughs> it's hard as a rock, but it's good to lay down. And yes, we're running on adrenaline. I think it's good though if you like can sleep just keep keep resting yeah. And my brother called me this morning and him and his wife were getting in the car in Texas with their four boys and Driving out here to visit us so Which is super nice it's like a night eight or nine hour drive I can't believe that with four young boys. It's so sweet of them. I mean that is like next level. It means a lot so My parents much. hopped on a plane. I think here in a little bit. They're coming Julie's, your mom was already planned on coming. And then Julie's dad gets here on like two days. On a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to have our families coming. I know. You know. It feels nice and comforting. Yeah. You know. It's been like a whirlwind of like a month. Just all that anticipation and then like now and oh my god. I'm glad that they're coming. It's like you kind of want the familiar like people faces like comfort yeah yeah because you're just like in a hospital with like really intense yeah, yeah. yeah. all right okay i'm gonna try to get some rest but and contractions are picking up they're like three to four minutes apart so that's good i'm not obviously feeling any of them which but. is so funny because she was three or four minutes apart i don't like what now like 18 hours ago Ugh, yeah 20 hours ago Fuck. it's been been in labor but now since well your water broke when for over coming up on probably like, like 30 hours all right i need some rest okay love you guys all right we got juju doing figure eights over here with her ass like little ass cheek figure eights is what they told her to do we're trying to we think that the baby is well he's head down but he's face he's head down but face up so his face is like at her pelvic bone looking up to the sky when she's laying on her back. And it'll be harder to push him out that way, so we're trying to get him to flip over. Not flip so. upside down, but just flip over where he's facing mm -hmm. the bed once she's on her back. So I'm basically holding a little plank for 30 minutes when I'm by my back, because I'll do whatever it takes to get this to baby out. easier, yeah. It's like every step is just like a whole mountain to tackle. How are you feeling at this point? I feel good. You feel kind of like ready, a little, a anxious. Little revived. No, I feel calm. I'm Do you like, feel like refreshed? A little. I mean, I you know I sort of feel like shit just from the whole thing, but like compared to, I'm glad I slept earlier and I feel decent. Like I have a little bit of energy reserve. Had some food, so yeah. Came a little life. bit of broth. My mom's here, so. My mom goes, or right when I'm, I'm calm, she goes, I'm anxious for you. <laughs> yeah, Joe's like, I'm really calm right now. Anticipation. Uh, oh, trust me. Oh my God. All right, I feel like I keep vlogging from the same position. So sorry, we just keep giving updates from Julia on the bed. But this is what we're working with. So. Here, come get in it. 
We are getting closer. Getting closer, y'all. We're at seven centimeters. And Hallelujah. we think she'll be at 10 within the next two hours. So this has been a... Well, if they said like about a, if it's a centimeter per hour, and then yeah, she, said she said you said might not push. Yeah, but she remember? Right, you might, and then you might not push right away. So you, you'll probably start pushing in about three hours of it. Yeah. Can't wait to meet him, can't wait to hear his cry. Can't wait to see his eye color. I know. Can't wait to let him hold our pinkies in his little hands. Oh, so Touch his little feet, put socks on his feet, put a beanie on his head. Oh my god. Dress him. Can't wait. Can't wait to... I'm gonna catch him. I um, can't wait to just like put him on your chest. And you're yeah. gonna be like... You're gonna want that so bad. Yeah, he's so, he's so nice. Yeah, no. Anyways, we're getting close. We're getting excited. Sorry, I think... I'm a little loopy from this upper girl. I'm a little loopy from lack of sleep. Yeah, but you need to go sleep. I do need to go sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was getting nervous that like if I don't sleep, I don't want to get like kind of queasy. Like, I know. Towards the end, just from like standing up, like light head rush or something. So yeah. I'm gonna try to sleep for like maybe 30 minutes. Yeah. Get a little nap in, rejuvenation. Especially why things are still chill right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, just we should it. both get some sleep. We're gonna do that. Okay. We'll see you after. <sighs> We're getting close. My parents just popped in for a little bit. They're here visiting, they just landed. They're so excited. Yeah, that was nice. And um, we got to visit with them for a little bit. Then the nurses came in and had to do some checks. So my parents got out and went and checked into the hotel. They're gonna come back obviously when baby H is starting to make his way into the world. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're waiting on. Probably like two more hours, three more hours, I guess. I, know. I don't I mean, know. I do some like doing positions. I can Might progress it. Yeah, you've done really good with the positions. They yeah. have been Crazy good help. The movement. Is the movement key. Moving from position to position, playing mind games with the baby, letting him kind of figure out the maze. Totally. But, anyways, we're almost there. Once again, I think we say this every clip. Almost there, baby. Got anything to say? How are you feeling? I'm ready to push. Hallelujah, you guys made it to 10 centimeters. <laughs> days but we're here we moved down to the labor and delivery floor yeah good to go yeah. it's a good time. It's 7.30 on Sunday the 28th and Julia's been pushing for about an hour, an hour 15. Um, we slept pretty good last night. We'd sleep like an hour or so at a time, probably like maybe a total of like five or six hours. So Julia got some rest and um, he's coming today. He's on his way. So maybe another hour, maybe two. They said first time moms can push like three plus hours. So we will see, but we're just hoping for a healthy baby and a healthy mama. So, let's do this. Three, four, five, six. And push, push, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Good work. Let's go. Two, Delivery dog just called Cuddly. For the final call. Did you say your name? Cuddly. 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 Cuddly.
Good job, baby. Oh my goodness. How do you feel? Hmm? You did so good. Huh? I know. So cute. He does a little tongue out. Huh? Yeah, of course. Sorry. He's so small. Buddy, what do you think? She did it. Is it cool going to catch the baby? Hi. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh. You really are. Oh. You're so cute. Booker is so done. <laughs> <laughs> we love you so much already. Oh, I know. So cute. So weird. Oh my god. So cute. Look at his little body. He's so <laughs> We're gonna dress you in the best outfits. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have You're gonna love your older brother Booker. Yeah, I have our room set up for you. Yeah, this is so super You're crazy. gonna love all your cousins. Oh my goodness. And your grandparents. Yes, you diaper on and then you can take a picture with him with his weight <laughs> he was six pounds seven ounces wow he's chilling right there he loves it Like, get him out to, he's here. Oh, what what you're a natural hunt. No. I mean, come you're first baby. So, come yeah, you do. So you. Yeah. You're so sweet. He likes to open that one eye. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Mm -hmm. All right, we just got transferred rooms a little bit ago, but Julia's napping. Smoke is napping. Hey, Smoke. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. What's we up, y'all? Made it down to postpartum. It's been a whirlwind. Had tons of visitors today. But she freaking crushed it. She crushed it. She was a warrior, Hardest a champion. Thing ever done. And I was telling her this earlier is like, I imagine it was hard, but. I couldn't tell it was hard because she made it look easy. Like you weren't really complaining. You were just like, "I'm go, I'm doing it." You kind of like uh, drove just, into the storm, kind of. It was like the went. length. The length is the hard part. It was cool for sure. Basically, stayed up for like forty-eight hours straight. Yeah, we got maybe four hours of sleep. Yeah, we've been we're wiped. <laughs> just through like the labor portion, um, but. We're, we're, we're so happy. We're on the other side and we get to leave the hospital in 24 hours. We're excited about that. But we wanted to put Smoke in a little onesie. Mm -hmm. Well, some jammies because I think it might be kind of cold. But we brought the kite baby. 
and I got a preemie size. He's only six pounds, so I think this is a medium. Six pounds, seven ounces, oh, yeah. born at 8.53 on 5.28. That's right. His name is Smoke Hemingway. Smoke Hemingway Havens. Yeah. No. Okay, okay. Let's hold hands. It's okay. Clothes are warm. <laughs> That's a really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so there you cute. go. Oh yeah. You look awesome. That's warmer, huh? Oh, a little cone head from. Actually, the cone's going down. I feel like it is. My buddy, we love you. We love you. Yeah? <laughs> Good chin. <laughs> I think he has your chin. Yeah. He kind of has a Haven's chin though. Like he kind of looks like my sister's chin. Uh huh. When she was a baby. But when I look at you from the side, you kind of have that. Like when I smile, it's like a little point. Anyway. Sweet little man. You're perfect. You're perfect. Dad and Smokey doing some Just little smuggles. some TV hanging out. That's right. So sweet. So freaking cute, guys. He's so cool. He's so cool. He's the cutest. Such a sweet baby. Okay. Julia's feeling pretty good. We got some sleep today. She's still sore, a little swollen. Oh wow, yeah, that's a whole other situation. And she's trying to be pretty like chill. We're not walking around too much, but she does want to like move around a little bit just to get her like legs moving. Yeah. Because they were dead oh. for 24 hours. And I'm super um, swollen from the epidural. The epidural and all the fluids. Like my hands are really tight. My feet are really. My legs, everything's swollen, so um, said it takes a while to go down. But um, anyway, so just kind of like the post-labor situation. But we're loving these moments. It's like really special. It's super cute. Like the first like day it was like a really good day with just him and like having family visit, and the nurses are loving it. And I don't know, it's just like so fun. It's fun. He's been really quiet all day and just kind of sleepy and really sweet so he, we'll see if it stays that way but he latched from the very beginning mm -hmm. like right when i pulled him out and put him on julia's chest like he latched immediately which is really cool yeah it's really cool to see it's like natural instinct totally so animalistic and primal primitive so we're gonna keep tracking along the breastfeeding journey it's like it's still getting the hang of it but it's kind of confusing but um, yeah y'all probably saw on instagram his name we named him smoke hemingway smoke hemingway and named smoke was something that we had put on the list a long time ago and we just kind of resurfaced yeah we we were like thinking of other names and we were wanting a, a name that felt really special and just like unique to us yeah and we were like we've never really we wanted something like outdoorsy before. yeah um and to Earthy. us to us it's like very like like hanging out with friends by a campfire, by a bonfire, and like smoke rising, and it's kind of like spiritual. We said it's spiritual. It's not really that spiritual, but like just in it's like used, it's ceremonial. different cultures, it's kind of like ceremonial, like mm -hmm. bonfires or like medicine men use like smoke for like healing. We but did. Smoke was a for sure. Once we just had one smoke, we we're like, that is it. And I think it was cool too because we we're living in Tennessee near the Smoky Mountains, the Smoky and Mountains. it just goes with the whole vibes. We like Smokey, but we liked Smoke as his name, and we can always call him Smokey. So I assume, mm -hmm. like, a lot of our parents and, like, family friends and stuff will call him Smokey. Yeah. But we really like Smoke a lot. We Just, like, it. Smoke. It's, like, cool, simple, totally. short, masculine, and unique. Definitely. So you guys can give him the nicknames that you want out of Smoke. Yeah. Smokey will probably be the most common. But it, um, Once we decided on Smoke... We were then like playing with so many different middle names and 
we always liked the name Hemingway after we decided to start trying at Bar Hemingway in Paris. But we always thought we would use Hemingway as a girl name, first name. But then once we decided on Smoke, Hemingway just felt the most right for his middle name. Totally. And it sounds good with Haven, so. Before we decided to start trying for our first, so it made sense to use Hemingway for the first. Totally. So we are like, we gotta use it as his middle name. But we toyed around with so many different middle names. Oh my god. Rabbit holes. Oh, rabbit holes and middle names. Yeah. Um, but we love the name Smoke. We love it. And it's um, really cool even when you were in labor, or like when we were first getting here. Yeah. Like all the nurses, like they they ask you what the name is and stuff. So like from the very beginning when he's still in your stomach, like everyone at the hospital is calling him Smoke and it just like felt so cool and it, it felt like so natural. Totally. So. No, it was really cool hearing everyone call him that and just like get like used to it and like all of our family just yeah. being like, baby Smoke and. Little Smokey, it's baby so Smoke. Cute. You are so sweet. And he's so sweet. He loves his mama. His eyes have been open for like an hour. Uh oh. You've been sleeping all day and now your eyes are open. We're all ready to go to bed. <laughs> That's what happens. This is the start of this. Um, Essentially, Julia was in labor for like over 30 hours. It was a long labor process. Oh my god. And the biggest piece of it was that she wasn't dilating, right. but her cervix was thinning out. So, like, all the at home labor that she was doing, it was. We thought the contractions were helping the, the dilation, dilation, but it was, it was actually just, just like thinning. focused on the thinning of the cervix, which yeah. was still, still like good work and like a lot of work. And the fact that that happened it in took like twelve hours. Yeah. But like faster, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I guess labor is just way longer than I realized. Like, especially your first time. Well, it time. depends. Everyone's is different. Yeah. But um. Yeah, she was a champion, and she pushed for three hours. It took even once she went into like the pushing segment that took three hours yeah and i could see his like little head poking out for probably like an hour and a half of it i know i definitely feel like that's where the workouts came in handy was the pushing yeah you crushed the push because you, you made it so like, easy use like your legs and muscles and stuff she she was pushing it's tiring in so three three or four different positions yeah you did one standing up on like a squat bar mm -hmm. you did some laying down on one side yeah some laying down on another side with your leg lifted. Yeah. And then some with just like laying down with your feet in the stirrups. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when you finally delivered him was when they were in the stirrups. I wonder if that's just easier. Maybe. Yeah. But I think the gravity of the squat yeah. really helped him like kind of naturally the gravity like pull. Totally. But um, the wild part is that she, her water broke. And so it kind of makes the labor a little bit longer and harder because there's less Fluid. fluid inside for him to like be able to move around in mm -hmm. so once your water breaks it comes like a suction and just like all the water is gone totally. so it's harder for him to move around yeah so and he like was stuck he was positions. face up and they're supposed to be face down and so our doula helped julia get in quite a few different positions that allowed him to flip naturally mm -hmm. and even that took like a few hours I know. Oh my God. how many positions did you get in over the I course mean... of 30 hours over 30 yeah just one after the other for like yeah. 20 30 minutes at a time i know but it was like fun it was tiring for her it was yeah. tiring for me oh and i wasn't even having to do anything other than just like be awake that's a lot and though, help out. Like, yeah but be once she got the epidural she couldn't move around on her own so it was like me and the nurses were like picking up her legs like adjusting her and like yeah. it was just like all part of the process such like a beautiful story and beautiful process mm -hmm. so everyone's labor is mm -hmm. their own beautiful journey and yeah. story and we had ours and it was like special yeah it was yeah it was, we were a good team yeah when we went to the hospital we thought she was probably like dilated to like a five or six and we got and there I... and she was dilated to a one and then it took another like seven hours to get to a two another four hours to get to a three and we're like no. this is gonna take forever and, and then you did. get you got to an eight and you and were at an eight for how many how long you're on eight for a long time, ten, ten and then hours. they started talking about and like you guys. And I was on the, high, the highest level of pitocin that you could get, and that and my labor was so stalling; it was ridiculous. I don't know. I just did not want to open up. So, but at the last minute, so. when they were like, "Okay, maybe we need to do a C-section," Julie was like, "Hey, I think like we can get there. Like, let's yeah. just hold off." And you kind of have to like 
you know, speak for yourself and, like, mm-hmm. speak up. And so Julie was like, hey, like, I want to get there naturally, and that's something we wanted to do. Yeah. She didn't want to go into a C-section after laboring for that long unless it was, like, required. And so she requested to, like, go a little bit longer in one more position. And then at the very last minute, they came in to do a check, and they're like, you're 10, you're like, 10, let's, let's go push. to the delivery room yes. and push. So oh my God. we went there, and it was, like, another three hours of pushing. Yeah. But, but they said most first time moms is like three to four hours. So, um, but that it flew by. I was I thought it was four and it was like two hours, but mm-hmm. but it was three. But anyways, pushing's hard. We're really happy. We're so happy and glad you guys could be a part of the journey. At least watch it. We're gonna get some sleep and then we're headed home tomorrow mm-hmm. and we're gonna be in our little newborn bubble for a while. But. We will, um, we're excited to, like, transition into life at home with him. Yeah, after we posted on Instagram that her water broke, we felt kind of bad because we didn't provide any updates, but we, like, literally she was in labor the whole time. I was and just And it was, like, no moments. Like, we sent a couple updates to, like, family and stuff, but, like, we weren't even, like, thinking about Instagram or social media or anything like that. No. You're, like, focused on, like, the mission. Yeah, exactly. Um... But it's really cool to see all y'all's sweet comments. Like, yeah. people are like, oh, I can't wait to be, like, see our new nephew. And, like, all of y'all, like, y'all are part of the family. It's really cool. Totally. So we appreciate all the love and support. We love you and welcome Smoke to our little family. Yep. And Smoke yeah. Hemingway Havens. Smoke Hemingway Havens. Start Havens. something new. That's right. One cool idea that I had to give as gifts to my dad and Julia's dad, since our families are, like, big baseball families, is I've brought two MLB baseballs and we Julie and I just did this we put Smoke's footprint on two baseballs and we're gonna give one to my dad and one to Julie's dad and I did a third one actually for me as well so it's kind of a cool fun idea I think they really like it it's like a good thing to always have in your trophy case he's gotten pretty good at latching just like in the first few hours of his life it's like so cool to see. It is cool. Still figuring it out, but it takes some time. It's interesting. Yeah. And like, not a lot of milk is being produced right now. But the big important part of this, as many of y'all know, is like, it's it's teaching him how to latch. But it's also when he's latching or becoming close, her hormones are like, it's helping tell her to create the milk. Yeah. So when she is producing more milk, it'll become more natural. We love you. <laughs> we got him in the stroller. We are heading home. How do you feel, Mama? I'm feeling pretty good. Just walking around feeling a little like things are not aligned quite lit, quite yet, but I feel okay. I'm ready to be home. It's like in our bed and have a shower and like some normal food mm-hmm. and like just everyday things. Shower, sleep in bed. Yeah, exactly. And take you to your new place and meet your brother. Oh my god, Booker is going to be obsessed with you. <laughs> Julia went bold, wearing white. I did. I'm like, I'm giving it an hour. But before. you're all padded and diapered up. Yeah. And it's not as much bleeding as I thought. I mean, there's a lot of blood, but like not as much as I thought. Um, we love you. We love you, and we forgot our Stanley Cup attachment, which <laughs> we meant we all right. out of our That's way right. to get. Well, somebody's in their car seat, looking cozy. I think he's got some milk on his lips. Oh, what's this little milk? Okay, that should be fine. We got him in there, Hunter did, and the nurse checked us out to make sure. She's like, do you want me to look at the car seat just to make sure? So she kind of helped us make sure we had it all secure and nice, but, um... He's doing good, taking a little snooze. Hunt Daddy's packing up the stroller. Wow, you're a pro. I still don't even know if I'd remember how to do that from the first time. There we go, okay. And we're going home, here we go. Thank you, Centennial. All the staff was amazing. This is where we delivered and they were great. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's so sweet back there. Can you see in the mirror? Yeah. I can't see it. Dang it. Okay. All right, mom and dad. Well, we're headed home for our first day. We're going to go, first day home, we're going to go introduce Smoke to Booker and try to transition into life at home. It's going to be, it's a lot. 
at once but it's yeah. fun it's just like you need a lot of time and everything it goes by like really fast because you're just doing so much yeah the thing is is like you're so excited to get back to your like normal routine and normal life but at the same time you don't want to miss these moments because they're so special at the hospital so special like you're like oh i'm so ready for him to be here and so ready for you to like give birth i know but during the labor process those are like such great moments in I like know. a weird way it's hard to explain it's easy for me to say because i didn't go through labor but I don't know, it was just like such a beautiful, beautiful experience and like so cool for me to see Julia go through it and like It was cool. See you hold him for the first time, like it's like so freaking special. I'll never I forget know. that moment. I know. And vice versa. Yeah. It was like kind of intense and and emotional like going through it but then now the more that i get further away i'm like wait that was actually really cool and it's so short in the grand scheme of things um so anyways it was intense but i looking back i'm like okay that was really cool and i'm growing more appreciation for it we're gonna get him home and rejuvenate a little bit yeah get settled in mm -hmm. introduce smoke to bookie oh my god his, little, his older brother it's gonna be so cute and uh i think Julia's mom's gonna cook us dinner tonight. Yeah. My parents will stop by and see Check the new the place, nursery. see the nursery. Yeah. Held smoke a little longer before they leave tomorrow. And they're coming back in a couple weeks. So cute. it's gonna be a fun next few weeks and I'm um, excited to do it, do it together. Me too. Love you. Love you. Uh, and I love you so we much. Love you so super much. Wow. All right, y'all. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. bye.